welcome back everybody to another uh, podcast on the go episode uh, 18 episode 18 uh, we are going to be talking about uh, meaningful business in the new normal with enrique of oh my genie.ph so hi enrique good morning hi Iggy. good morning can you uh can you share to us uh, what Oh My Genie is about? Like from from what I know, Oh My Genie is a, is a total business solutions provider. So I have a Codigo here. <laughs> so it, it's, it caters to uh, employee relations and retention, employee rewards and recognition, office supplies and pantry needs, uh, automation and software services and vendor and supplies management. Uh, take it away. You can expound on that. Like what what has what, what has uh, Oh My Genie done uh, in the past, or uh, how yeah. how did it be? Well, we uh, we started as a grocery company. We were in the beginning called Oh My Grocery. And over the course of the first uh, months on our beta stage, we realized that our uh, corporate clients wanted more and needed more. And we wanted to be there to support that need. Then came the Oh My Genie platform, which has become a one-stop shop for a company or business needs. No? So as I mentioned earlier, we come from, uh, in, we, we have employee relations program, we have employee retentions program, and this can be of varied uh, different types of products. So it could be um, gift items, it could be experiences for employees, and uh, other things would be the software development part of what the business would need. So this would be when they're also engaged in e-commerce or they are in the supply chain, sourcing of ingredients, materials, and this kind of stuff. So um, a lot of what we do are really customization and uh, tailored suit to the needs of our clients, the, the companies, and also for their employees. So if there are things that needs to be uh, set in within the, the business models, where they also see us or where we find that we can also assist them, uh, we go ahead and do that for them. In the present time, um, with regards to the current health crisis, so what did, did uh, Oh My Genie like ad adapted or ad adjusted to the to the demands of, of let's say you know the, uh, the customers during the lockdown or during the quarantine? Yeah, with Oh My Genies, Oh My Grocery, as mentioned earlier, we started in 2018. So we have been serving the business community and their employees for a good run of two years already. So come March of 2020, when the lockdown or the quarantine was announced, it wasn't necessarily a shift for us. In fact, it was just more of amplifying our services because we've been doing it. Yes, it has expanded and it has grown. And if there might have been a time when um, the employees of our corporate clients were not ordering from us, um, their first brand in mind is Oh My Genie and Oh My Grocery because they are fully aware of the brand, but they didn't see much of the need you know, back in the day. The uh, yeah. or there wasn't, yes, because there wasn't really a pandemic yet. So, <laughs> but... So we were we were we were really uh, very lucky to say, and uh, we were uh, very happy to be able to serve the Sabuana community. We were at the forefront, if you would if you would want to call it that, uh, in being able to provide the service. No, so um, we we had our, our messages uh, in our inbox, both in email and and Facebook, were flooded for inquiries and we had to uh, increase our capacity to be able to meet the demand of the market. Um, from when we used to only mostly serve Cebu City, we had to expand all the way to Consolacion, all the way to uh, Minglanilla, and sometimes we even get inquiries from Luzon and Mindanao and other parts of Visayas. So um, 
with the pandemic that we are amidst in right now, uh, we were able to support uh, the Cebuano community because uh, interestingly, in November, even last year, we were already planning of creating different kinds of steps, action steps, in case Cebu will go through something that's very uh, difficult, like a major calamity or something like that. So um, the decision making, yeah, through, yeah, yeah, something like that. What if roads are closed? What if uh, our employees won't be able to come to report to work? What if the supplies are going to be locked coming to Cebu? So we were creating these scenarios, uh, uh, quarter four of um, fourth quarter of 2019. And it was almost like preparing for what's gonna happen. Um, in March. So when the lockdown was announced, all we had to do was switch on all of these uh, different uh, processes you know, available and ready for the people. And it took us less than a day to decide on how to implement and operate. So everyone had to work from home immediately. It, yeah, it wasn't really even trivial for us anymore, I would say. We were just there to implement right away. So yeah, it's always good to have a uh, foresight forecast and planning how did the how did you do the logistics like when 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 the quarantine happened borders were, were closed down oh, we use carpets with magic carpets <laughs> <laughs> we we went ahead and acquired and complied all the necessary documents and permits um we're very proud to say that omg is always compliant with the uh, regulations that are uh, no, uh, imposed by the, the government. And we, we coordinated with the IETF directly. We work with the provincial uh, office of the DTI. And we have uh, several logistics partners that can operate perfectly well in the, in the climate, no, in what's going on. So this allowed us to be able to enter different uh, municipalities and cities within the Cebu province, all the way to... Uh, Liloan and all the way south of Minglenilia. So this was also a very good uh, advantage for us and for our customers because they have a company like Omajini who are reliable when it comes to being able to deliver their essential goods to their household or other uh, businesses. So you, you mentioned you have corporate clients, but what about, uh, do you have like a small medium enterprise clients or micro? And Definitely. Yeah, so some of them are community neighborhood groceries, uh, better known as the Sari Sari stores. And then you also have your uh, foodpreneurs who are home-based. So if they are selling items online, which I think was one of the more popular um, activities uh, the past five months, people selling stuff online from their household, their baked goods, yes. So they, we, we also supply uh, the ingredients for them. And uh, you would say for people who do not have a retention program or rewards program for their employees, um, they would provide some type of like gift vouchers or uh, like some food allocation program. So these are also other support systems we're able to provide for the MSMEs. Like, you know, popularly known as like a rice allowance, grocery allowance, things like that. Mm. So uh, can you walk us through, let's say, if if, uh, if a client wants to to get uh, the services of, of oh my, oh my Genie, oh my Grocery. So yeah, yeah can, can you walk us through? Uh, well, if you uh, for for the household, all the you most need to do typical like service that the, the most in demand service, for example. Yeah, definitely, it's food. Uh, people shop their grocery for their household, or for those who are operating their offices. Again, we are supplying their pantry. So, if you if you are an HR officer, if you are a procurement officer, and what has been what has been the practice for the past two years is that. They call us up, they ask us to look for uh, specific items for prizes, maybe for top performing employees and the like. So we provide that. If it's on the website, all they need to do is just add it in the cart and we, we deliver it according to the scheduled date. 
And if you are a corporate client, uh, you also have a like a customer support team that will will assist you if there there are times when you need it within twenty four hours, the following day, etc. So we can we can take an extra mile in providing that uh, for our. Uh, household customers, all you need to do is go to the website. It's called store.omygrocery.com or omygini.ph. It will route you into our e-commerce platform where you can have uh, you can have an online supermarket of over. I think right now we are already at over seventy thousand products. On our platform. Yeah, so you just basically shop. These are your partners. Uh, the Yes, this is through our partner suppliers. Yes, the inventory that we carry is through our partner suppliers. That's correct. So we have uh, your more popular household grocery brands that includes like Super Metro and even La Nueva, specifically for our Sari Sari store partners. Aside from food, uh, one thing I noticed as well during uh, you know the health crisis is there's also an increased uh, demand for. Uh, Let's say gadgets. So, do, do you have that as well in your uh, e-commerce platform? Let's say they, let's say they, they, let's say a company. Let's say they, they hire someone new, and the company wants to send um, a laptop, a laptop for for their employee. So, have you done something similar or procured uh, gadgets or any related work gadgets? That's something we're working on right now. Um, uh, the interesting about OMG is that we have the OM series, OMG series. So the gadgets, so we'll have all my gadgets and we are talking to several oh, yeah. electronic brands. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, that's why <laughs> um, a lot of electronic brands or maybe um, brands who are already carrying electronics. And hopefully within the month before August ends, we will be able to um, integrate a button there that will say, gadgets and if the item is not found on the site you are welcome to provide a request or let us know what you want us to look for you and we can scout it for you so this goes this service is available both for corporate clients and for um, individuals yeah if I, if I need to buy a gadget i can just you know reach out to my genie yeah, you can you can send us a message via Facebook or you can send us an email and you tell us what to do and someone will call you and your genie will shop for you and uh, will arrange the delivery. Yeah. So that's really typically the language now when people are actually trying to communicate with us and um, please tell my genie that this is what I want or hi, genie Iggy. Can you please uh, look for this specific item for me? I need the... 12 by 16 pillow, it has to be velvet. <laughs> or if it's, a, if it's a laptop, it's a certain RAM, it's a certain, uh, uh, certain uh, like, like a graphic card. Yeah, yeah. You can be very specific. And you will have a personal genie who will be doing the uh, curation for you and help you with making the choices. So as I, it's not just necessarily just uh, telling someone to buy something for you, but your genie will help you decide better on uh, what kind of product you'll end up with. It's because uh, sometimes, you know, we need help. And uh, if there's nobody that can do that for you, so at least you have a genie. That's nice. Now your, your customer relations people are called genies. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so I'm called genie Enrique. And if you join the team, you're genie. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it really, it really uh, gets into that kind of um, experience. No? And that's what we really want to bring it to the people also. And we're happy. We're happy that the, surprisingly, the Cebuano market is embracing it very well. So very high. We have a very high customer retention. Okay. So okay, I, I'm sure people are now intrigued now. So. What's what's the price range, or if you're allowed to to mention any any uh, price packages that you have available, or you have promos? People love promos. That's right. Well, uh, <laughs> for for the standard race, now we have a base price for when you um, ask for grocery shopping. So through all my grocery, our delivery rate is one hundred fifty pesos. 
for anything that's shopped uh, between 2,999 pesos and below. And for the service fee is 120. So if you put that together, it's about 270 pesos. That's just practically about like 9% of your total bill of like 299. But, you know, it goes a little bit higher if you shop over. So there's more value if you shop more items. And besides, it's it's smarter to shop like twice a month. So you, you can do pre-planning with your uh, grocery and what menu you'll have for, for like at least 14 days or two weeks. And because we are pre-scheduled, the, the delivery slots are placed on a calendar week. So it also helps you budget your uh, household expenses when it comes to your grocery needs. So yeah, um, 270 pesos only for 2,999 uh, 2, grocery bag and below. And if you exceed that, there's just a, an additional rate of uh, 100 pesos for the service fee and 100 peso uh, delivery fee add-on because, um, of course, your grocery bag will get more. There's more picking. There's more service rendered. And the space that will be eaten up in the delivery unit will, will be higher. So you'll need to have to uh, cover for that expense too. But uh, pretty much... It's a very good price range and very competitive in the market while having a fully curated and a concierge type service that you get from Omegini. So it's always valuable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you live in Minglanilla, right? Yeah. So I'm within reach, oh, yeah. uh, within the, within the, the, the range. Serviceable area, yeah, within the range. So when we send deliveries to Mindanilla, they most likely order in bigger uh, bag sizes and usually in the three-week cycle. So maybe it's more of uh, making sure of making to uh, uh, getting it over and done with for the month or three weeks. So technically, uh, oh, my genie is still uh, like a still a startup. You would call it that, yeah. We are we we developed a software maybe around early 2017. Ideation was around 2016, and then uh, the beta was launched in June of 2018. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We started as Oh My Grocery, and we said that uh, why do we limit ourselves in just providing grocery to our clients. So uh, Oh My Genie has already provided furniture. We have already <laughs> provided uniforms, uh, giveaways, Christmas baskets, things like that. Yeah. In the time uh, of the pandemic, more, yeah, sure. it, it really has increased. Yes, uh, there has been an increase of the demand and the need for it. And of course, people are, people are wondering of what's going to be the case of uh, Oh My Genie or online uh, shopping in general. So we believe that uh, it's going to stay, whether or not uh, the pandemic will extend much longer. And uh, it, it has been, it has been like our best way to test the, 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 the purpose and the credibility of the product and the service that we offer. So, now that it's implementing a lot of the arms, we would call, you know, like, uh, from the gadgets to gifts and all these kinds of things, um, we're, we're happy that uh, we know we can deliver the needs of the customer. The industry you're in, what, what, are you for sure you're not confined in a particular industry, you're, you're service-based, you're tech uh, or e-commerce. So, uh, like, where does where do you, as the chief uh, branding genie, uh, where do you, where 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 does where does your brand fit, or how how would you like classify uh, Oma Genie? Oma Genie is a solutions provider. No, um, we are not a, we are not just a tech company. We are here to help our customers, may they be corporate or um, individuals, being able to give them an answer to their problems. You have a problem with sourcing your ingredients or packaging, so you also come to us for that. And 
you want to improve your point of sale systems or if you have none, we can also provide that. So it's always a question of um, what does the client need? And when they have a need, we see ourselves fit in providing that, then we, we give it to them. And if it's not through us or through OMG, we bring in other uh, brand partners to to provide the service. We have practically become like a boutique boutique uh, outfit where people come to us or clients come to us and uh, we give them their tailor fit needs. That's what we have been providing for the last two years. For, for, for payment, so you're, you're available uh, for different types of... Uh payment provider or part, are you partnered with any particular payment provider or you, you cover all or most? We, for the corporate uh, clients, it's a different arrangement because they normally have a credit line with us. So they pay us like you know, maybe a check or a bank transfer, stuff like that. For customers, uh, they use uh, their e-wallets to do the fund transfer. And we are going to launch our uh debit card and credit card terminals, online terminals, um, hopefully within the month. Um, we might be initially launching our partnership with uh, either, like, I think we started with Paymaya and then we'll also work with Gcash, of course. At this point, what, what's, what's next? What's the next steps? Uh, what's the next plan for oh my Gmail? Well, for us right now, it's really strengthening our operations in Cebu and, and expanding the, the market size that we are able to serve in the segment. And maybe in the next uh, six months, of course, the holiday season is coming in and we want to be able to um, provide and support uh, the whims and the needs of our customers. Um, I'm sure 2020 holiday season is going to be very different, unique, if you might want to call it that. But we also understand that this is going to be one of the most meaningful holiday season that's going to happen. And uh, we want to be part of that. And I believe that Oh My Genie is going to be a very uh, strong partner you know, for businesses and households to give them their best holiday experience. That's, that pretty much covers like you know, a lot, actually. So any anything you want to share or promote? No, no. I said, lastly. Well, to begin with, you know, I think everyone is, uh, everyone should be reminding each other. So I will do the, the same thing. <laughs> please, please, as much as you can, just stay at home. If, if, you, if you need to go outside the house, it has to be for two things only, to work and to um, buy something that's really, yeah, really, really important for the household. But other than that, um, Try to avoid leisurely places, public places, etc. Because just in the news today, uh, people are already uh, get, getting contacts, no? Again with, uh, Again with the virus. So, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. In Cebu City, uh, the, the the main the main culprits would be um, to the, the the transit and the workplace. So the time that you leave the house and you, and you use a public transport system or when the workplace. So right now, there's going to be a different map of potential uh, ways to co in, in contacting the virus so yeah um, just be safe and um, if you need a delivery service for essential goods please visit us it's omajini.ph and uh, please let us know how we can help you um, if it's just if it's beyond grocery like your pharmacy needs uh, please also let us know so we can do a gro grocery and pharmacy run for you guys Thank you so much for, for sharing the, the story of uh, Oh My Genie, Enrique. And, uh, Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, very early in the morning. I normally wake up at 11, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you're the one who picked the schedule. <laughs> no, I just, cause I just wanted to be out of the way too, because I know I'm working from 11 to late at night. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I think uh, that's about it uh, for this podcast. Uh, make sure to, to, to give a visit to ohmygenie.ph. Thank you. Thank you for... Uh, joining me today early this morning and uh, thank you everyone who's watching this stay safe uh, once again and uh, see you in the next uh, podcast